<laughs> I've received another most auspicious package from Outer Darts, I believe. It's another blaster that they would like me to review. So I'm gonna. Then the package. There's another package. Hooray! And dirt. Neat. What we have is the tactical edition of the unicorn. Most excellent. Isn't that nifty looking? Very, very cool. I am going to assemble this, hopefully. And then we shall plink. With the darts they sent, apparently. What did they send? Are they yellow and orange? Fascinating. Okay. Let's see if I can get this thing together. Right. I got it together. It's very similar to a regular unicorn in its assembly. You just had to put the screws into the stock rail bits. You had to screw on the buffer tube, which isn't actually a standard buffer tube. I think you could put a standard buffer tube on there and then be able to put any regular stock. It did also come with the bottom of the grip stock where you can either put any standard end strike attachment and since there are end strike buffer tubes you could put a buffer tube stock back there or it has the thread for you to use a pop bottle i don't know why but they do uh it does have longer front barrel than a standard one this whole front section moves when you prime it which i don't know if that's actually necessary but that's how they chose to do it uh you can then either put the grip the, the, the angled foregrip here, or you can put it on the top. I've put in the filler. You can make it top prime rather than pump grip if you wanted to. Uh, I put the Zarco scar barrel on here for testing purposes. You did have to put the, uh, oh, and I've already lost one. It's probably gone forever. The little sights, I should have glued them in. I didn't. It popped out. I'm sure it is now gone forever. Probably popped out while I was shooting and <laughs> Disappeared forever. Anyway, um, maybe it'll turn up someday, but I kind of doubt it. Anyway, uh, you can hypothetically put the rail from here up here and then be able to put an optic if you felt like it. Um, I, it only came with the one piece of rail, but I believe you would be able to fit it up there. Um, just has pins to hold it together. Spring goes in. Very simple assembly. There are some other options that I chose not to install. Um, the bits, mostly that top rail bit. Also, one of my the one of the nuts for the bolts that hold the foregrip on wasn't threaded, so that's a thing. But I'm sure I can find one. Anyway, we're gonna take it to the range and we're gonna plink. Right, we're here on the range. Sun's going down, so it's shining in my face. There, uh, we have the new tactical unicorn with the yellow and orange darts that uh, they came with, or rather that was sent with them, and I'm gonna do some plinking. Uh, I'll take the Zarco scar barrel off of there for now, so we can see how it shoots without rifling. And then we'll put it back on and see how it do. I've got some bottles set up. We'll see if I can hit, well, first of all, anything at all. Spend that stock a little bit. Can I hit anything? Yes. I hit the 50. Oh. Yes. I hit the 75. Oh, a little high. A little low. I almost hit the 100. Ah, oh, there's the 75. Okay, can I hit a bottle? Yes, I can. I got two! Come on. There it is! 50. Browse complete! So even without any kind of rifling, it's not too bad. I'm gonna reload and I'm gonna put that, uh, that B car on there and see how that do. 
Fresh bags, Arco Scar. Let's see. 50. Oh. There it is. 75. 100. Oh, almost. Oh, a little short. Oh, not quite getting the range. I got him. Four for four, yeah. There are some people that still try to convince you that rifling doesn't do anything. Uh, clearly, clearly it does. How many rounds? I got three rounds left. Ah, doesn't seem to be making it shoot a little low, but accurate. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to load up a mag for the other unicorn, the original unicorn. Just, just a plink, really. I don't know how much I'll be able to tell the difference between. Twigs falling, coming for me. Reload! All right, now we have the original unicorn. We, uh, look at them side by side. The barrel is about the same length. It's a little bit shorter. Uh, different pump grip, obviously, but uh, the lowers appear to be identical. Uh, this one does have the buffer tube. This one, I have that kit, but it didn't seem to work as well with it. They hit about the same FPS. Let's see how this one shoots. Those are coming out of there all kinds of wonky. Did I double load and I'm now just... No, okay. <laughs> Come on, 75. There it is. Can I get the 100? How many rounds have I got left? One. Come on. No. I feel the other one was shooting better. And that may be a various number of combinations. I have no idea what spring barrel, what's it combination I even have in this thing anymore. Uh, and this is a worker scar. That one had the lovely Zarco B car. I assume the spring and barrel and whatnot for the tactical ones, since they all came together, are probably a little better tuned. And I like the grip. This this grip I'm, I'm not a fan of, which is probably why they created this one. A lot of people weren't huge fans of that grip. But... They are both quite lovely. Let's get back to the shop. I'll get you your FIPS. Because I know you love your FIPS. And then we'll talk about it. And now, full FIPS. 234. 237. 250. 232. 248. Yeah. That'll do. I want to... I'm going to reload and uh, test my original one, modded one. Yeah, I did swap out the foregrip on that one, for those of you that noticed. 229! 225! The darts are all getting stuck. 229! 228! 231! So with two different mod kits worth of parts and an awful lot of tinkering, I managed to get this one to hit what that one hits out of the box. Let's talk about it. Right, so what is the big hubbub about the tactical unicorn over the original? Well, as I stated, longer barrel, more ergonomic pump. I just, I never liked this. The angle that it twerks things at, it never loved it. This, this I love, because it goes all the way around. It is well supported. You can get what you can still put whatever pump grip you want on there, and it's not going to torque things weirdly. Um, slides nicely. Can't deprime though, because it has slam fire still. Uh, lower seems to be identical, as far as I can tell. Um, the other thing that it has that I really like is that its internals are all already upgraded. There were the original uni uh, unicorn internals were spotty, and they had upgrade kits. And I had issues with them. I think I got an, uh, one aftermarket, or one that didn't come from this company, that I couldn't get to work. And then I got the internals from this company, and they worked better. And I think I now have a mix and match of the two. And I couldn't tell you what it is, and it's almost certainly not optimized. What's in here now seems pretty optimized. It's hitting 200 out of the box. No tinkering. 
And I'm sure you could tinker with it, change barrel lengths, change springs, change O-rings, change whatever people change on springers to truly optimize them. So I think there's a lot of potential here. The barrel is exposed, so you can put whatever preferred B-car, SCAR, whatever you want, if you want. Uh, it does have the buffer tube style, which does mean you can use the longer, skinnier springs, which apparently have benefits. It does still have the collapsing stock, which is nice. Um, they didn't change the catch on it, so it still only catches on one side, and it really needs to catch on both sides. It's got notches on both sides, but it only catches on one, and that results in some torque, and I've heard of that breaking on people. Um, but it does appear that it might be metal now, so maybe it won't. Was it always metal? I don't know. This one didn't have notches on both sides, so you couldn't just replace that part with one that does. This one you might be able to. Um, but other than that, it's got all the same features. I do have extra rail. I might see if I can get some more rail. That's oddly not attached to anything. Uh, well, that's just because it came with that kit. Um, I would like to have rail up here so I could put a proper optic on it since I've already lost one of my little glow stick things. i do a 3D bit of 3D filament in there or something. Anyway, I like it. I definitely prefer it. I like the, the way the pump works. I like that it still has slam fire, which you really don't see in high power springers much anymore. So that is a neat, in my opinion, a neat feature. Easy tear down, two pins, that's all still there. Like I said, the lower, as far as I can tell, is identical. Uh, it's just the upper that they've changed to make longer and have this different pump grip style. Does still have slide return if you like that. It's something you can remove. Um, that's right. You can't um, can't deprime it. Um, so I like it. I dig it. Um, it's pretty much what we did to our unicorns. Because one of the nice things about the unicorn, what a lot of people liked about it, was how short it was. And some people obviously kept theirs short and they went with lower power. Uh, but they, you can still get some decent power out of it, even with short. Uh, but if you wanted to get it up to 200, you kind of needed to get a longer barrel to get all that power. This is, like I said, almost exa it's exact same length. Um, pretty much from end of the B car to the end of the scar here. Uh, so, you know, it's still not exactly long. It's still a fairly compact blaster. It's got a short prime. Short stroke prime because it only needs to go back far enough to chamber a half dart. I need to quit doing that. But I dig it. So, my thanks to Out of Darts. I will almost certainly disassemble it and paint it up in my colors. I don't know how well this will paint and uh, not get marred. This one you can already see it's taken a beating just, um, just from weathering. I might try, I don't know, like um, priming it in silver and then painting it in orange so when it wears it wears to silver which would you know look cool or i could maybe prime it in um what i usually prime things in which is a black vinyl dye and then it would wear to black before it wear or to white i don't know let me know what you guys think what do you guys think of the the upgrade do you think it is an advantage a disadvantage you still can get the shorter one if you want if you really want a, a short cqb one if you want one that's a little bit longer, got some more options, a little more power out of the box, that sort of thing. Already has all your upgrades. You've got this option. And uh, variety is the spice of life. So let me know what you guys think. Link to where you can get it. Obviously, out of darts will be down in the description. What on earth is that? Bugs! How dare you? Thank you for watching. Mwah! You know what? Let's tinker. Let's tinker. All right. So we can simply take that whole shroud off. Um, can I then take this whole front barrel assembly off? Yes.
feel like I would need to take a bit more apart to get it all the way off, but that looks like that. It, yeah, so from here back is just a unicorn uh, with different internals, and then it's got uh, an extended an extension on the prime to bring it up to here to to screw that in. But I assume if you popped this off, you could then put the original pump grip on if you just really liked that pump grip, which I I personally don't. But uh, yeah, um, that's just a unicorn. So, I mean, they could have just made this as an additional kit um, as opposed to making a whole new blaster, but they decided to go this route. That is pretty nifty. I gotta say, I dig that. 